What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for Stochastic.com, back again with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, March 16th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments what you like, and then go sign up for our lineup generator. You see the banner at the top of the screen, $4.48 for the first week. Cancel whenever you want. If you don't like it, you can bail. We're handle handling the generation for you. We, we make thousands and thousands of lineups. We throw away the garbage at the bottom. We let you sift through everything that we deem good. Chalky builds, contrarian builds, balance builds, lock players, swap players, export up to 20 via CSV. We're showing you projections, ownership, optimal rates. It's the perfect tool if you're watching this video and you're looking to improve your lineup construction and your worst case scenario is you're out five bucks and you don't have to think about it after that first week. So click the link in the description, go sign up now. Pascal Siakam, Spencer Dinwiddie, Torrey Craig, DeAndre Ayton, and Trey Lyles on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. There is no value out there right now. So we're getting to campaign at number five. Point guard eligible, 3,400 projected for 19, goals 22, optimal lineup 19% of the time. I only got him in for 17 minutes, but he's a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy in this matchup against Orlando. 10 points, three assists, two boards, and maybe a stock. This is the perfect explanation of what we have today. There are a lot of good payup options and they are very difficult to get to because there are no pay down options that actually look good. Campaign is just a backup point guard right now at best, maybe a couple minutes alongside Chris Paul if you're lucky or Chris Paul foul trouble, which don't expect that. This is gonna be a tough slate, folks. Staying on the Suns for number four, Josh Akoji, shooting guard, small forward eligible. So you do get added flexibility. 5,100, projected for 27, goal is 30, optimal lineup 29% of the time. 31 minutes for Akoji. He's been playing a ton as of, as of late, even without Durant, with Durant. Either way, he's become a part of this starting lineup since the trade. 0.87 fantasy points per minute. Now he, he's around a 17% usage guy, 13 points, six boards, an assist and two stocks. Nice matchup against Orlando. But what you're getting here is flexibility. Mid-tier price tag or even lower mid-tier price tag. Shooting guard, small forward, guard, forward utility. And on a five game slate, you just don't have a ton of options. So for right now, with our lack of value, Josh Okoji is very interesting. Like I said, there is no value. Gary Trent is in at number three. Shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 4,300. Projected for 23, goals 26 and a half. Optimal lineup, 30% of the time. He's playing like 24 minutes a game now, but this is the flexibility and price tag where we don't have many choices. He's a 0.95 guy in this spot, pace up against OKC. It's all scoring, 14 points, two and a half boards, an assist and a stock and a half. That's what you're getting here. But you get positional flexibility and price savings. And for someone like Gary Trent, if he's hot, they're probably just gonna keep him out there. In at number two, we get our first like real guy and that's gonna be Nick Claxton, center only, 6,600, projected 38, goal 38, optimal lineup 36% of the time. 31 minutes here for Claxton, excellent matchup against Sacramento, bad defense, pace up spot. He's a 1.2 fantasy point per minute guy. I've been playing a little bit more as of late. They're really consolidating the rotation. It's around 12 points and 12 boards here, two and a half assists and three and a half stocks. That's the big piece for Claxton. You're hoping to get a bunch of blocks and I'm happy to give that a shot. So of all the guys that you can get to, we're still staying in the balanced realm, but I think Nick Claxton has a monster ceiling. Like, subscribe, notification bell, and follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. I told you about the lineup generator already, but you see it on the screen, $4.48. Hit the QR code or the link in the description and just go sign up. That's all I gotta say. Your number one contender for today is gonna be Cam Johnson. Small forward, power forward, eligible, 6,300. So we're staying very balanced. Projected 36 and a half, goal is 36 and a half. Optimal lineup, 42% of the time. 33 minutes here for Cam Johnson. He's a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy in this pace up spot against the Kings. 20 points, six boards, two assists, and a stock and a half. Again, it's all about flexibility. Balance builds are key right now. Whether that holds true by the time we get to seven o'clock, that could be a little bit different. But for right now, Cam Johnson is your number one contender. 
Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, March 16th. FanDuel versions around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win that money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of the Contenders.